Hello, welcome to Vibe Extra. I am Jennifer Geisler, and now with me I have Praveen Akiraju joining me. He's the Senior Vice President of the Services Routing Technology Group at Cisco. So welcome Praveen, it's great to have you here with me. Thanks a lot, it's great to be here. Hey, I want to talk about one of everybody's favorite subjects, which happens to be cloud, and what's going on around there. And one of the biggest questions I have, and I haven't really got a direct answer yet, so I thought I'd put you in the hot spot for just All a right. moment here, put you in the hot spot, is, is cloud seems up in the sky, where network seems down below on the ground. So can you make the connection between the network and the cloud and why the network is so important? Absolutely, I think if you think about Cisco's primary value proposition, it's the fact that we own all pieces of the infrastructure all the way from the user right into the cloud. So that gives us a unique perspective in terms of how we deliver the applications and the media video voice connections that the customers care about. So the way the network relates to the cloud is we, have, we see what's going across the network, we're able to optimize what's, what goes across the network, and we're able to enforce the policies and security that our customers care about. So the network actually enhances and provides what we call user experience. And that's something that Cisco can uniquely provide with the assets that we have and the understanding of the customer and the network infrastructure. Okay, so that all sounds great. Now, can you give me some use cases? What is really going on in the real world? Absolutely. So if you kind of look at one of the, the most significant trends that we see today, it is virtual desktops. We also talk a lot about the advent of video and the impact it's having in terms of improving productivity for our customers. So if you think about a branch use case where let's say a bank branch where you have virtual desktops deployed and you have a video, a, a virtual teller machine where you have a video teller on, on the, in the branch. Mm -hmm. And the typical use case you have is you have the interaction of these two technologies which causes uh, the user experience to deteriorate because video sometimes tends to overwhelm the applications. So because the network understands the video and understands the virtual desktop, as well as other applications, we are able to then ensure that the video gets the right amount of bandwidth and ensure that the user experience for the virtual desktop is preserved. Some of these applications on the user, on the virtual desktops are really mission critical. Yes. When you're talking about financial transactions or trading, so this is something where it needs to be real time and the experience needs to be guaranteed. And I believe that with the assets that we have, whether it's the routers and the switches, or WAN optimization technologies or management technologies, putting them together, Cisco can uniquely deliver a user experience for virtual desktops and video out to a branch. Okay, excellent. So that's pretty exciting there because I think we're all users of the other virtual desktop technology. Right. We all want to go to cloud. And I just think from the user perspective, the last thing that I want to experience is any delay. Absolutely. Or yeah. any type of a stagnated type video information, and video right. is what we have, right? If you look Indeed. out here on the show floor, it's what it's all going on. Right. Now, I do bet that some of your technology is yeah. out here on the show floor right now yes. actually supporting it too. Yes, so, Indeed. So trust me, I think it's going very well. Yeah. Now, what your day job, as far as not hanging out at Cisco Live all the time, yep. is you actually run, you're the general manager of that business unit that mm -hmm. actually creates the services for our routing technology. That's right. So, New, exciting, what's going on as far as Absolutely. that? Absolutely, so there are a couple of things. So I'm responsible for the ISR platforms and the ASR uh, platforms, as well as our WAN optimization technologies. So as it relates to the cloud, there are a couple of things we're, we're, we're working on. The first is we announced uh, a service, for, a security service for our branch deployments on the ISR, which basically connects our routers to our scan safe best-in-class web security service. So what this enables our customers to do is, if you have connectivity to the cloud directly from a branch, instead of deploying an expensive appliance, you can actually route the traffic to the web, to the cloud, for the ScanSafe service, and then onward to the cloud, uh, the software as a service platform. So, so that's a new service that we announced, which is unique, it's had tremendous reception with our customers. The second interesting technology is what we call UCS Express. So it's basically a, uh, a server blade that resides on our, on our routing platforms, which is very tightly connected with our UCS platform. So we're seeing huge traction for this in, in the customer base, primarily because a lot of customers are looking to put mission critical applications directly onto this platform and be orchestrated from the cloud through the VMware vCenter as one 
entity. Okay. So if you, if you combine these with some of the, the, the management paradigms that we're announcing with Cisco Prime, you really have a, a set of compelling cloud-based technology you can deploy today, and we will have a continued roadmap of this because this is a journey. So the, you know, we're talking about essentially gradually turning on virtual network services. Another interesting service that we talked about was uh, WAN optimization. Yes. Now, we announced the virtual WAN optimization capability, which essentially means WAN optimization now resides in the cloud and is able to orchestrate services at much larger scale. So you're going to see us continue to launch these kind of services. And the biggest value proposition with Cisco, our, our, our vision is to basically make it seamless between the real services in an appliance and virtual services that reside in the cloud. So I won't be able to tell the difference between the two? Yeah, absolutely not. So you should be able to, irrespective of where the service is orchestrated, the customer should have a seamless experience. And I think that's where we could uniquely bring Cisco's value proposition. Oh, now that's exciting. I trust that we can see some of this technology out on the show floor, which is right Absolutely. behind me in the Cisco booth here, where you can see it for real. Yes. So we encourage any of our participants here to see it live on that one. So Praveen, thank you so much. We want to keep you, get you back in the shop, keep those great things going, since we're all going to be users of the cloud and using this wonderful technology. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for the time. And with Cisco Vibe Extra, I'm Jennifer Geisler. Thanks for watching this episode.